Hello, and welcome to the DEX Imaging Help Desk YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be showing you how to install and configure Kyocera drivers on your Mac computer. Before we begin, please note that our system here is running the latest version of Mac OS as of this recording, which is 13.3. Mac OS 13 has brought some pretty significant appearance changes to some of our menus, so if you're using an older version, or even a newer version barring a radical redesign, the process is going to be the same, but it may look quite different. And with that disclosed, let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to begin by opening up our web browser, we're using Safari in this example, but you can use Chrome, Firefox, or whichever browser you're most comfortable with. And we're going to navigate to www.deximaging.com service. On the Dex Imaging Service site, we'll select the Resources tab. Then below that, click on Kyocera Downloads. And that's going to take us to the Kyocera US Driver Download page. In the search box here, we're going to type in part of our printer's model number to narrow down the results. In our example, we're using a Task Alpha 4054 CI, so we'll type 4054, and we see it narrows it down to just two results, and we can select our model to be taken to the downloads page for it. Once on the downloads page, verify that the detected operating system version is correct. If it isn't, you can drop down that menu and select the correct one. Then scroll down and we're going to click the download icon next to the Mac driver. If prompted, allow the download, then when it's finished, open it up to mount the image. That's going to open up a finder window, and we can double-click the installer package to begin installation. In the installer, we're going to click continue a few times to proceed through the information and licensing screens, then agree to the license agreement. Finally, we'll click install to begin installing the driver. This process can take a few minutes, which we'll fast forward through here. Once installation completes, click close. Then you can click to move the installer to the trash. With the driver installed, it's time to add our printer. We'll open up system settings. If you don't have the gear icon for it in your dock, you can click the Apple logo in the top right and select System Settings or System Preferences. We'll navigate to Printers and Scanners, then click Add Printer, Scanner, or Fax. Please note on older versions of Mac OS, you'll click the plus icon to add. In the Add Printer window, you may see your printer already listed to add. This would add using the built-in Air Print protocol which will not have all of the features of the driver, so we're not going to select that. Instead, we'll navigate to the middle tab at the top. In the address field, we'll type in the IP address of your printer. Yours will almost certainly be different than our example here, so be sure to check your printer if you do not know this. You can find the IP address on the printer control panel by selecting device information, or by going into reports and printing the network configuration page. Once we've typed in that IP, your Mac will ask the printer for information, and should change the use box to show the correct model of the printer. If it doesn't you may need to drop down the use box and choose select software, then point it to the correct model driver. Drop down the protocol box, and select HP Jet Direct Socket. In the name field, we can name the printer whatever we'd like it to show up as on our computer. Then click Add. And now we can see the printer is added to our computer. We'll right-click the printer and select Printer Info. After a quick scan to ensure the info is correct, select Options and Supplies. On the Options tab of this window, we can set any accessories our printer may have, such as extra paper trays or finishers. Once finished, we'll click OK to close the window, and we can exit out of the system preferences. Finally, we're going to set the default print options. Kyocera includes a great tool to do this without having to go into the CUPS management panel. To access it, we'll click the magnifying glass up at the top of our screen to open the search box, and type in Kyocera and we can see the Kyocera print panel application here, which we'll select to open it up. We can decline the data collection to continue, and then we'll select our printer. And now we can set default print options for our device. Along the left side, you can navigate the different panels for various options. We recommend turning off two-sided printing and setting your color default to black and white. You can always access this print panel from within a job to select color, but defaulting to black and white can help prevent unintended color prints. For example, even a text-only PDF may contain color data that the printer will detect, and charge a color click for, unless the color option is set to black and white. We can also adjust any finishing, sorting, or other features we'd like to set as default, 
Then we'll click apply, then OK to close the window. And now we're ready to print. We'll just open up a website here to send a test print over, and we should have good output. So there we have it, we've set up our Mac to print to our Kyocera printer. We hope you found this helpful, please like the video if you did, and you can subscribe to our channel for more informational content like this. Thanks for watching.